hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to talk about how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop before any further i do then let's get started so here i'm going to use a5 paper size then leave it at inches then Make your resolution at 300 and I'm going to use RGB because it's for social media post. Then I'm going to click on great. So this is our working area now. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to import the background I'm going to use in this tutorial. Then go to your resource file and I'm going to import the background which I'm going to use. So the first background I'm going to import is this then scale it out then i'll leave it this way it's okay then go to your filter select your blur gaussian blur and i'm going to make use of 12.5 then click ok the second one i'm going to use then i'm going to bring this one over here drag it over here to bring it then scale it out like this then click ok now go to your blur select filter blur gaussian blur and here i'm going to make use of 7.2 then click ok then this is the outcome of it then after this one and I'm going back again to my resource document. Then I'm, I'm going to import this background here. Drag it over here. Then bring it down. Then scale it a little. Okay. Now, then I'm going to change it to overlay. Then apply your layer mask. Select your gradient to and I will blow over this area okay so having done this one then I'm going to draw a rent angle over here all right then go to your test document and I'm going to copy this color code then apply this color ctrl plus v to paste then create a layer mask select your gradient to okay then i'm going to select this one and increase it that is scale it out a little all right okay then go back to your resource file and i'm going to import another background then which is this one then drag it then take it up here then i'll position it somewhere around here then scale it take it up it's okay like this then and i'm going to apply blur select your gaussian blur then and i'm going to use 9.8 all right then change it to screen apply your layer mask then select your gradient to and blend here okay so having done this one so what you are going to do again we are going to import another one this is this light over here then i'll position it around here then click ok and i'm going to change it to screen something like this all right the next one i'm going to do now and i'm going to import this one over here click ok now change it to soft light so you can see the outcome of it then apply your 
layer mask then i'm going to use my brush over here then to brush this area all right the next one i'm going to do then i'm going back to my resource file and put this one here before doing import this one so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to group all this one ctrl plus g to group it then hold your shift plus ctrl plus alt key and i'm going to press e then it will create this one for me then go to your filter and select your camera raw filter then here so what i'm going to do on this stem pressure i'm going to use minus 32 then and this one i'm going to use plus 42 then the exposure i'm going to use minus 1.20 then the contrast i'm going to use them plus 21 and the highlights are we import minus 11 then i'm going to the texture and for the texture i'm going to use plus 27 then the clarity i'm going to use plus 26 and the the haze i'm going to use plus 10 plus 10 then the last one is the vibrant and i'm going to make use of plus 26 so you can see how it look now then i'll click ok to apply it all right then go back to your resource file and i'm going to import this image here then scale it out it's okay like this then i'm going to my filter then blur gaussian blur and i will use 12.5 then click ok all right then you can change the blending mode to color when you change the blending mode to color then this is the outcome of it now so i'm going to turn this one off for now then so that you can see how it will come out then either you will like this one or this background then you will let me know under the comment section okay so the first thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to bring in my test now then i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then before then select your rent angle and i'm going to draw a rent angle over here And I'm going to create a round shape. A round shape this way is okay. Then I will take it up like this. Okay, now I'm going to bring my, my church logo, then import it, then reduce the size, and I'll take it over here. Then something like this. Now select your test tool or press T using the keyboard. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now reduce the font size. Then Ctrl plus A to highlight. Then apply vertical alignment. Ctrl plus D to deselect. And I'm going to apply a drop shadow on that test there. Then I'm going to make use of this shadow here then multiply and my opacity is 100 percent the distance is two then the spread is six and the size is nine then i'm going to click ok then this is how it will come out all right then i'm going to reduce the size of this logo something like this okay then take this one up using your arrow to bring it down a little then after this one the next test i'm going to input now is this one all right so then what i'm going to do now i'm going to copy this one first ctrl plus c to copy and here is the 
the, the test effect I'm going to use. All right. So what you do now is to double click on the smart object, then select your test tool, then highlight it, Ctrl plus V to paste. Okay. Now the font I'm using here is Sharpion Gothic. Sharpion Gothic. Then I'm going to select this one and reduce the font size. So then close the layer, then yes to save it. So you have to wait while it loads. So then we are done. This is how it will look. Then now the, what I will do now, I will go to my test effect, then select this effect here. Then the main subject, then I'm going to double click on the effect there. So you can see how it, it comes. So on this color overlay, then I'm going to open it. Then I'm going to copy it. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. So you can see the change there. All right. The gradient overlay, also the color is here. So I'm going to copy it. Then select this one, open the color, then Ctrl plus V to paste. So you can see how the change is affecting the test there. The Ctrl plus V to paste. Now click OK. So now I'm going to apply this one. Then you go to the second one, this effect here, double click on the layer style then this is the effect then copy the color code and go to your gradient overlay here then open it and i'm going to apply color on this one then ctrl plus v to paste so then this is the outcome of it then i'll click ok then the last one is the stroke that is the edge then i'm going to copy the color code and double click on the layer so you can see it over here. So this is the stroke and I'm going to change the color to my own. Then you can see the stroke that appear here now. So before it was a golden color, now it changed. Then I'm going to click OK. You can see it here. So this is the one I create now. So after you have created it this way, so the next thing to do then go to your file, go to export, then export as PNG. So this is it. And over here, the format, then I'm going to use PNG. Then you click on what? On export. So export it to where you wanted to export it to. So now I'm not going to export it because I have it already. So then I'm going to import the one that I've already created. All right, so what I will do now, then I'm going to leave this place, then, and I'm going to pick the one I have already grated. So this is the one I grated. Now I'm going to drag it over here and position it around here, then increase the size. There is something here. So what I did here on that test here is to create a warp. This one, you can see this logo. So when you click on it, then you now drag it. You can see. So this is what I did. Great a warp. All right. To the next one now, then I'm going to import my image. So this is the image I use here. And this is the second one. Then for not wasting too much of time, then I'm going to bring this one. Then reduce the size. I will position it around here. Then reduce the size this way. All right. The next thing now, then I'm going to bring in the names. Here is the name. Then I'm going to copy it. Control plus C to copy. Then select your test to reduce the font size. 
then Ctrl plus V to paste. Change the font color to white. And the font I use here is Railway. Then make it bold. Then break it. Align the text. Then I change the text alignment to left. Reduce the font size. And I'm going to close the space here. All right. Reduce it a little. It's okay. Now I'm going to apply a drop shadow and increase the opacity to 100%. Then the distance to 7 and the size 9. Then click OK. I'm going to duplicate it. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Drag it over here. Now I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then break it. Alright. So here is what you will have. Then go back to the image. Go back to your resource file. And I'm going to import this light here. Then I'll position it between the image there and change the blending mode to screen. Then I will duplicate it, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. And I'll bring this one down over here. Reduce the size of this one. Then click OK. All right. Having this one now, the next thing I'm going to do, then I'm going to my test here. Then I'm going to pick the location, the time, and the dates. Then I will drag it over here and position it here. Now I'll bring it down. Then increase the size. And take it up. Okay. All right. So now go back to our image over here. Then you clean to click it to turn it on. Then I will see how the design will look like now. So then between these two then which one do you prefer this one or this one so let me know under the comment sections between these two background either this one or this one so which one is your choice there so right we are done about this design thank you so much for following if you like this video please share subscribe and turn on the notification bell also remember to join my youtube membership channel and if you want to create a fiber account there is a link in the description below then click on it and create your own fiber account which you can also order for any of your graphic design on my fiber account then you can also create a two body account and optimize your youtube channel using the link below in the description thank you so much guys